These are of the number of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here till ten thousand years, the time entailed by their sins, are consummated. And from thence, I went to another place, which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a horrible thing. A great fire there which burnt and blazed, and the place was cleft, as far as the abyss, being full of great descending columns of fire. Neither its extent or magnitude could I see, nor could I conjecture. Then I said, How fearful is the place, and how terrible to look upon! Then, Uriel answered me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and affright? And I answered, Because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said unto me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be in prison, forever. Chapter 22 and thence I went to another place, in the mountain of hard rock. And there was in it four hollow places, deep, wide and very smooth. How smooth are the hollow places and deep, and dark to look at. Then Raphael, answered, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose, that the spirits of the souls of the dead, should assemble therein, yea that all the souls of the children of men, should assemble here. And these places have been made to receive them, till the day of their judgment, and till their appointed period, till the great judgment comes upon them. I saw, the spirit of a dead man making suit, and his voice went forth to heaven and made suit. And I asked Raphael, the angel who was with me, and I said unto him, this spirit which maketh suit, whose is it, whose voice goeth forth and maketh suit to heaven? And he answered me saying, This is the spirit which went forth from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew, and he makes a suit against him, till his seed is destroyed from the face of the earth, and his seed is annihilated from amongst the seed of men. Then, I asked regarding it, and regarding all the hollow places, why is one separated from the other? And he answered me, and said unto me, These three have been made, that the spirits of the dead might be separated. And such a division has been made for the spirits of the righteous, in which there is the bright spring of water. And such has been made for sinners, when they die and are buried in the earth, and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Here their spirits shall be set apart, in this great pain, till the great day of judgment and punishment, and torment of those who curse forever and retribution for their spirits. There, he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who make their suit, who make disclosures concerning their destruction, when they were slain in the days of the sinners. Such has been made for the spirits of men, who are not righteous but sinners, who are complete in transgression, and of the transgressors they shall be companions. But their spirits shall not be slain in the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from thence. Then, I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness, who rolleth forever. Chapter 23 from thence I went to another place to the west of the ends of the earth. And I saw a burning fire, which ran without resting, and paused not from its course day or night, but ran regularly. And I asked saying, What is this which rests not? Then Regal, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered me, and said unto me, this course of fire which thou hast seen, is the fire in the west which persecutes all the luminaries of heaven. Chapter 24 And from thence I went to another place of the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire, which burnt day and night. And I went beyond it, and saw seven magnificent mountains all differing each from the other, and the stones were magnificent and beautiful, 
magnificent as a whole, of glorious appearance and fair exterior. Three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three towards the south, one upon the other, and deep rough ravines, no one of woods join with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these, and it excelled them in height, resembling the seat of a throne. And fragrant trees encircled the throne. And amongst them was a tree such as I had never yet smelt, neither was any amongst them, nor were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood with are not forever. And its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, How beautiful is this tree, and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then, answered Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me, and was their leader. Chapter 25 And he said unto me, Enoch, why dost thou ask me regarding the fragrance of the tree, and why dost thou wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered saying, This high mountain which thou hast seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne, where the Holy Great One, the Lord of Glory, the Eternal King, will sit, when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for this fragrant tree no mortal is permitted to touch it, till the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its consummation, forever. It shall then, be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Then shall they rejoice with joy and be glad, and into the holy place shall they enter. And its fragrance shall be in their bones, and they shall live a long life on earth, such as thy fathers lived. And in their days shall no sorrow or plague or torment, or calamity touch them. Then blessed, I the God of glory, the eternal King, who hath prepared such things for the righteous, and hath created them, and promised to give to them. Chapter 26 And I went from thence to the middle of the earth, and I saw a blessed place, in which there were trees with branches abiding and blooming. And there I saw a holy mountain, and underneath the mountain to the east there was a stream, and it flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this, and between them a deep and narrow ravine. In it also ran a stream underneath the mountain. And to the west thereof there was another mountain, lower than the former and of small elevation, and a ravine deep and dry between them. And another deep and dry ravine was at the extremities of the three mountains. And all the ravines were deep ran narrow, being formed of hard rock, and trees were not planted upon them. And I marveled at the rocks, and I marveled at the ravine, yea, I marveled very much. Chapter 27 Then said I, For what object is this blessed land, which is entirely filled with trees? and this accursed valley between. Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said, This accursed valley is for those who are accursed forever. Here shall all the accursed be gathered together, who utter with their lips against the Lord unseemly words, and of his glory speak hard things. Here shall they be gathered together, and here shall be their place of judgment.